Hi everybody, welcome to YS Kong Driving. We are at the BHP station in Gombak and we are setting out on our morning run. And what do we have today, guys? We have here the Honda HRV, and this is the V spec. Third out of the four, it starts with the S, then the E. The S is the 1.5 liter naturally aspirated. Then we have the E, which is the 1.5 liter turbo. Then we have the V, higher spec with 18 inch wheels. And then after the V, the next one up is the RS, which is the EHEV. So I think uh, this is the best of the non hybrid versions so this is the higher spec non hybrid version and it basically has the same specs as the hybrid version but it doesn't have the hybrid system instead it has a 1.5 liter turbo which gives you 182 ps and 240 newton meters of torque the clean has been around for 16 years and any product that's been around for 16 years means it's good. Of course, you can check and find more information on these products online. And in this new norm, the McLean Auto Plus is a must-have. Here's some good news for all YSCOM fans and followers. There is a 15% discount on the McLean Auto Plus and you get one piece of cartridge worth RM99 absolutely free. So all you have to do is come to this website and put in this promo code to get your discounts. Don't forget there's a time limit and only a certain number of units are available. So do it now. Now we are starting off very early in the morning because we want to have a good run and uh, our headlights are actually on. So for the first part of the journey, we're going to check out the car's driving and I think we are in normal mode. Let me just check. Yes, there are three modes here. There's a switch here. Okay, we are on Econ mode. Okay, so in Econ mode, you get a very, very mild engine tuning and it will give you very good fuel consumption but we're going to move on to normal mode which gives you a bit more power the normal power that you get and not so good fuel consumption but it's still good in a way because later we're going to do a fuel consumption test hopefully okay so how does it feel driving at 100 kilometers per hour well i just heard the motorbike overtake us Yes, this is a B segment uh, SUV, but I think Honda have nailed it. They have actually given me a car that I want. They have given me a, sorry, SUV, which has the 1.5 liter turbo engine, the same engine you get in the Honda Civic. And it has three driving modes, Sport, Econ, and Normal, which I like, and it has a seven speed yeah, it's a CVT, but having said that, the CVT is a lot better now than it used to be. And I think the fact that it has a lot of torque has got something to do with it because now you can gear it properly or rather set the gears properly and have higher ratios that do away with the screaming. Oh, we are a little bit above the speed limit, but driven at the normal speed limit of 110 this is the type of condition you will feel and let me tell you you won't even know that it's a CVT later we'll go on to the sports mode and then when you invoke manual which uh, you do through the pedal shifters here you get seven speeds and they actually have stepped the gears so that it gives you the impression that it is a and automatic so it feels really nice to drive so you won't get so much of the CVT raw uh, they have done actually wonders with it yeah and as I said many years ago uh, the CVT development is growing in leaps and bounds and it 
every four or five years it just renews itself to something new and finally they have done what I said they should have done many years ago they have actually stepped or rather put steps into the CVT and makes it and make it feel like it is a proper gearbox so they've gone very very far so in terms of uh, pricing the lower spec with, with the 1.5 oh by the way they've discontinued the 1.8 liter engine so all you get is the 1.5 it has the same 121 PS as in the Honda City and uh, yes you can buy the 1.5 liter if you're a school mom and you do nothing but go to school and come back go to market and come back and you drive around the city it's perfectly fine if you want to go out station or you want to go for an occasional drive up gun thing well i think you should go and choose one of those uh, turbocharged versions there are i think uh, yes there are two turbocharged versions yeah it's the e and the and the v and uh, this is what we are having this is the higher range uh, from 114 800 it goes to 129 for the first of the turbocharged versions and then this one is 134 800 and the final top of the range is of course the rs which is retailing 140,000. now all these are without insurance right so you got to add another four to five thousand ringgit worth of insurance okay then we have sports mode and is very easily invoked by just pushing a button that's down here and uh, immediately the tune becomes more aggressive and you get a lot better power yeah the road is pretty crowded for this time of day but this car is nice it's not as stable as the Honda Civic yeah it's an SUV a much higher right uh, and uh, the size is a little bit bigger than the old HRV the wheelbase has been extended by about 10 mm which is about a little bit less than half an inch so uh, compared to the Honda sorry compared to the Corolla Cross uh, which has a 2640mm wheelbase this one is 2610 so it's about that much 30mm 30, 30 uh, shorter a little, a little bit more than an inch shorter uh, overall length is uh, also a little bit shorter than the cross but the engine power on the turbo unit is a lot more with 182 PS it's a lot of power so if you really need a little bit extra space go for the cross uh, of course the cross being non-turbo will be more economical to run uh, that's not saying that this is very uh, heavy on fuel consumption the consumption on this car depends on how you drive it so it all boils down to what you like so whether you agree that this is what you want or not will depend on where your inclination lies for me i think that honda have done a very good job this is a sort of this is another game changer you can say because uh, it now throws a new dimension into the suv uh, wants and needs and this one will cover the need for power yes it does have a lot more power and i think it's going to go down very well with malaysian drivers and uh, of course there is still the x50 which is a lot cheaper but this one has a little bit more power or you can say the power is equivalent and uh, so now the buyer has a choice to pay the 130 odd thousand for this one or pay the 110 thousand or thereabouts for the X50 because technically this one and the X50 are both on the same size spectrum yeah both are B segment SUVs and both have McPherson struts and a torsion beam arrangement at the back but of course this is a Honda the other one is a Proton slash Geely 
and finally it is the affordability whether you want this or you want that one now we're going to go up to the staging point here and we're going to just stop a few seconds because the safety system on this car cannot be turned off while you are on the move the collision mitigation i mean the lane change can be turned off but let's just check it out i'm going to stop here for a few seconds to turn it off yes the safety systems are all here in this vehicle you got the collision mitigation you got the lane keep and lane lane departure warning and all that uh, it doesn't have blind spot uh, monitor yeah it only has okay let me go here first and road departure mitigation off off yes then collision mitigation off okay i think that's it we are in sport mode and yep here we go okay guys the road is a little bit damp from yesterday we've kept traction control on <laughs> for safety yeah So far, I see it as very, very smooth. Okay, aircon is running a bit cold. It shows 23 degrees, but I'm kind of like freezing already. But never mind. Let's just leave the aircon on for consistency's sake. And here we go. It has emergency stop signal. of him
let him know I'm here. Thank you. Okay, suspension is built on the soft side. So it's actually made for comfort driving, yeah? So you get a little bit of the tail wagging out if you brake a bit harder. So it is definitely not as stable as the Civic, but it can give a good account of itself. I think he knows we are here because he signaled for me to pass him. Thank you. junction first roundabout <laughs> Ooh, okay so overall how was it well I like the power yeah so the most important thing about the car is of course the power brakes not bad they have not failed I was driving a bit on the fast side but of course I also did a bit of early braking you know just to slow down the car and make sure that we don't go too fast Suspension is on the comfortable side of firm. Yes, it's very, very good ride. Uh, that's what it's made for, yeah? It's an SUV, guys. <clears throat> is it faster than the Civic? I don't think so, yeah. <coughs> Maybe in a straight line, they could be the same. But uh, around the corners, the Civic will be better because it has a better multi-link suspension in the back and of course it also rides lower but overall is it a good SUV? yes it's a good all-rounder if you can only afford the one car well this would be a very good consideration because it gives you the combination of power and uh, also the handling and also the SUV bit that you all want, yeah. Okay, I gotta go on this side. See, so you can actually power around the corner. Okay, so here we are <coughs> at the second part. That hum is the start. And we take it easy around the first corner, which is a right hander. Very tight. And you will tend to understeer if you're not careful. Steady, try. 
Jakarta tuh easy in see the body roll Careful here.
this is the last corner. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Woo. <sighs> Every car is enjoyable, especially this one. <laughs> All right, guys. So, overall, I think it's a nice car. You can use it on a daily basis and then on the weekends you want to come up and have a bit of fun in Gunting can also yeah so oh nice well done Honda lovely car I really really like it all right guys thanks for being with us and of course uh, if you need to buy this car you can book it through our channel at uh, HTTPS shop.yscountdriving.com right or you can send me a whatsapp at 016-335-0609 and we'll get back to you very very quickly okay then so uh, thanks for being with us and please give it a like because when you give it a like then what happens is youtube will share it to more people and uh, of course if you haven't subscribed you know what to do guys okay then till we meet again in the next video bye bye